Police and protesters for and against Donald Trump faced off outside the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C., where the former president was arraigned Thursday afternoon. More than 100 protesters gathered outside the courthouse before Trump's 4P. M. Arraignment. They were joined by a large police presence patrolling the area. A handful of Trump supporters carried large campaign flags that said, Trump for President 24, and finished the wall. Another held a sign that said, Trump won. At one point, a fake presidential limousine drove near the courthouse with a passenger inside wearing a Trump mask. Around the time of Trump's arrival, a man dressed as a revolutionary soldier sang the national anthem on a microphone, Trump supporters joined him in singing. Anti-Trump protesters showed up as well one of whom wore a black and white striped jail uniform. Another protester screamed expletives from a megaphone. Some of the protesters got into arguments and dispersed after a while. There were no known physical altercations. Meanwhile, curious tourists passed by, taking photos and videos of the media and protesters. For such a historic and controversial event, the atmosphere through the morning was calm, and the numbers relatively few. There were no reported threats but several large dump trucks were parked nearby protectively. Hip high metal barriers with yellow tape warning, US Marshal do not cross, ringed the courthouse. Keeping the news media and the public back from the building's entrances. There were dozens of media tents and hundreds of journalists covering the developments of the arraignment. Metropolitan Police Department officers patrolled the area on foot and on bikes and stationed themselves at major intersections. Police walked the perimeter of the courthouse. Some with dogs searching the surrounding bushes. Department of Homeland Security officials handed out emergency number cards to contracted security guards to report anything suspicious. The courthouse was quiet inside ahead of Trump's arrival, with most reporters stationed in media rooms while police roamed around. However, as the arraignment neared, the action picked up with the court clearing the lobby and the halls of the courthouse. Ushering reporters roaming around into the designated media rooms and the courtroom where the arraignment happened. Court security guards blocked the staircase that went to the second floor where the arraignment occurred. Trump pleaded not guilty to all counts or charges related to his push to overturn the 2020 election results before and during January 6. The courthouse is located a few blocks away from the U.S. Capitol where the January 6 attack took place.